WWE Draft 2023 Why WWE separated Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns The best and worst of WWE Draft 2023 Night 1 The end of the bloodline, Alexa Bliss to be involved in a romantic relationship with Braun Strowman Sasha Banks reacts to Naomi's Impact Wrestling debut Why Bianca Belair was drafted to SmackDown in the WWE Draft 2023 and more Let's jump right into it The best and worst of WWE Draft 2023 Night 1 Welcome to the edition of best and worst of WWE Draft 2023 Night 1 Friday night saw the first of two episodes primarily focused on the WWE Draft 2023, and some significant changes were made. It seems like brand swaps are happening left, right, and center, and that may be a good thing, depending on who you ask. Shensky Nakamura officially changed brands to Raw, while Bobby Lashley moved to SmackDown, marking the first time that either has changed brands since 2017 and 2018. Drew McIntyre going to Raw is also a huge boost, but there was more than just that, so let's get right into the ups and downs without wasting much time. Number 3. Best. Led Knight's mega star push begin. Lun Knight has been getting bigger and bigger reactions with every passing week, exemplified in the WWE Draft 2023 Night 1 episode of SmackDown. The 40-year-old megastar came out to a huge pop and had a Corpus Christi, a notoriously silent crowd rallying behind him. Thankfully, he defeated Butch Slash Pete Dunne of the Brawling Brutes, and it was a massive sign that WWE is planning to finally give him a singles push amidst rumors that he is in the running to become Mr. Money in the Bank 2023. Number 2. Worse, stripping NXT of three champions at the WWE Draft 2023. We can't confirm that it was Triple A's decision, but if it was, it wasn't good. It could arguably even be described as controversial, as it was announced by Shawn Michaels that NXT Women's Tag Team Champions Alba Fire and Isla Dawn would be moving to SmackDown. Road Dogg even cleverly referenced the infamous I Lost My Smile promo from Shawn Michaels when he announced that NXT Women's Champion Indy Hartwell would be drafted to Raw. Those were the only NXT call-ups on the first night of the WWE Draft 2023. It seems like a terrible decision to strip NXT of three champions during a period when the brand isn't that hot to begin with. Don't be surprised if Katana Chance and Kaden Carter dethrone the NXT Women's Tag Team Champions this Tuesday. Number 2. Best. The Return of AJ Styles. It was announced in the third round of the WWE Draft 2023 that AJ Styles and the rest of the OC would be drafted to SmackDown. Styles hasn't been around for four months and made a triumphant return on SmackDown this week along with Luke Gallows, Carl Anderson, and Mission Mia Yim. We feel Mia Yim has been forced into the faction as she doesn't seem like an authentic fit. It's not a knock on her, but something about seeing her in the OC doesn't seem to click either. Either way, we hope she gets elevated in the process and that the OC has an excellent and dominant run on SmackDown. Number 1. Worst, Andy Bianca Belair's title reign with a swap. Raw Women's Champion Bianca Belair was unsurprisingly a first-round pick and the first woman on the entire WWE roster get drafted. However, it was a bit of a shock when it was announced that the Raw Women's Champion was moving to SmackDown in the WWE Draft 2023. It hasn't been confirmed, but Bianca Belair said she can't wait to be SmackDown women's champion. Rhea Ripley is inevitably going to get drafted into the red brand. We feel like a title swap is the laziest way to end Belair's year-long run as Raw Women's Champion. We find it hard to imagine that Io Sky would dethrone her and take the title to SmackDown now that damage control has been sent to the blue brand. Number 1. Best. An epic main event rematch on SmackDown. The Usos faced Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn in a rematch from WrestleMania 39 Night 1, which delivered as expected. There was a massive build-up to the match on the episode, from the confrontation after Round 1 of the WWE Draft 2023 to the tension backstage. Roman Reigns essentially ordered Solo Sokoa via Paul Heyman to take out the Usos if they failed to capture the titles, or at least that is what was implied. It was done brilliantly and subtly, with Heyman being a master at not making the Usos see it coming. Solo Sokoa looked ready to take out the Usos in case they lost, but Matt Riddle foiled his plan and began to attack him while Sami Zayn again got the win, this time with a pin over Jimmy Uso. Overall, it was a fantastic episode and finished tonight one of the WWE Draft 2023. The end of the bloodline. Wrestling fans speculate that it is the end of Roman Reigns' faction, the bloodline, after Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn retained the undisputed WWE Tag Team Championship. The Usos failed to bring the gold back for the faction on tonight's SmackDown. Earlier, the Usos were backstage with Paul Heyman and Solo Sikoa. Heyman gave a pep talk and said that tonight is the night they win back their titles and get drafted to the island of relevancy as champion, or they can join the obscurity of being on Raw. During the match, the former Universal Champion brought himself some time but sent Jimmy Uso so face first into the turnbuckle. J tagged in just as Owens tagged out, with Sami Zayn being all over both Usos, sending them crashing to ringside. Keto then hit a fisherman buster off the top rope, headed back up, and delivered a swan bomb. The OGV fans got a backstage cut as Paul Heyman received a call from the tribal chief. He then ominously turned to Siko and said, Tonight is your night. However, in the match's final moments, as Siko tried to interfere, Matt Riddle came to the aid of Keo and Sami. Owens delivered a stunner on Jimmy, accompanied by Haluga kick by Sami Zayn for the win. The OGV fans took to Twitter to note that 
that the tribal chief wouldn't be happy with how things turned out. A few fans shared that the bloodline would split after this match and Reigns wouldn't entertain the Uso. Some WWE fans said it was the right decision by the company to crown Kyo and Sami as the champions. Following the WWE Draft 2023, which shuffled the roster, Roman Reigns has some new opponents on SmackDown. Bobby Lashley wasted no time in pursuing the tribal chief, sending him a message upon his switch to the blue brand. Lashley has been a part of Monday Night Raw since his return to WWE in 2018. During his initial stint with the company, he was a member of the SmackDown roster in 2006. Immediately following the draft, the former WWE champion rushed to Twitter to send a message to Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns and Lashley's last singles match was in 2018. However, during the feud between The Shield and the team of Lashley, Baron Corbin, and Drew McIntyre, the two were on different sides of the ring. Do you think the Usos' defeat signifies Bloodline's end? Sound off in the comments section below. Ronan Reigns punishes the Usos after their loss on WWE SmackDown. Ronan Reigns is losing his patience with the Usos because the brothers aren't doing what they have been told to do. Jimmy and Jay lost the undisputed WWE Tag Team Championship against Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn at WrestleMania 39. The duo failed to regain their titles in a rematch in the main event of WWE SmackDown this week. The look on Jay's face after the match was not of disbelief, but of dread in anticipation of how Roman Reigns would react to another failure. Cracks have been appearing in the bloodline and the latest events on WWE SmackDown suggests that the Usos association with the bloodline is nearing its demise. Having said that, let's look at three ways Roman Reigns can punish his cousins after their loss on the latest episode of the Blue Brand. Number 1. Banish them from the bloodline. The island of relevancy is powered by a fuel known to WWE fans as Gaslight. Since the bloodline storyline kicked off nearly three years ago, Roman Reigns has been emotionally manipulating the Usos, especially Jay. The head of the table threatened to banish the Usos and their loved ones from the Inoue family during his heated feud with Jay in 2020. The Usos' latest loss could make the tribal chief finally snap on them. Rowan could use their loss against them by ousting the brothers from the bloodline. Reigns has apparently grown tired of his cousin's repeated mistakes. This was one of the reasons he set out Solo Sokoa to help his brothers in the main event of SmackDown this week. Number 2. Oust them from SmackDown As seen on the WWE Draft 2023 episode of The Blue Brand, Roman Reigns was made exclusive to SmackDown this week. Solo Sokoa and Paul Heyman also joined him as the combined number 1 picks. The Usos, meanwhile, will have their fate determined next week on Raw. Reigns could use his position in WWE to influence the results of the draft. He could force management into drafting the Usos to Raw. He could even test the brothers to stay on SmackDown only to kick them out of the blue brand himself. Number 3. Have the Usos compete against himself and Solo Sikoa Ronan Reigns puts great faith in Solo Sikoa, so much so that he names Sikoa the enforcer of the bloodline. Reigns knows that the Usos won't ever go up against their flesh and blood and he could exploit this weakness to punish Jimmy and Jay. The tribal chief could force the Usos to take on himself and Solo Sikoa in a stipulation based match. Solo has shown that he has no problem carrying orders, but can he take on his flesh and blood? Only time will tell. Alexa Bliss to be involved in a romantic relationship with Braun Strowman Alexa Bliss is one of the top stars on the current roster, but she has been absent from WWE for a bit. Even before her sabbatical, the goddess had somewhat fallen away from the main event scene in the division, with Becky Lynch, Bianca Belair, and Rhea Ripley stepping up. However, it is time for her to re-emerge along with her involvement in a storyline romance with Braun Strowman. Fans may remember that Alexa Bliss and Braun Strowman were very involved in WWE programming at one point. They were put together in the Mixed Match Challenge, but even before and after that, a romance was teased between them. Braun Strowman appeared to have a crush on Bliss with several segments adding to it. Fans loved it as well, making for rather entertaining WWE TV. If the company brings Alexa Bliss back and pairs her with Braun Strowman, it would make for an instant hit. Bliss is one of, if not the most charismatic women on the current roster. She can push any superstar to another level. Strowman, since his return, has been lacking something. While his pairing with Ricochet has been fun, it's not seen him at the level where he should be. Being paired with Bliss will see Strowman pushed immediately further, possibly in the main event scene where he can challenge for the top title. Strowman's support with distractions during her matches could also see Bliss defeat champions like Rhea Ripley and Bianca Belair to win the women's title again. The two together could be two main event champions and would be sure to succeed. With a new men's title and two women's titles, it's almost assured that this will work for everyone. Alexa Bliss has had several different gimmicks in the past few years. Being involved with Bray Wyatt has led to several changes for her, with a creepy side showing up. Now that Wyatt's character appears to have taken backseat again, it might make the most sense for her to return to her most successful character character, the goddess. Pairing with Strowman in that role could even see them become important heels. For now, fans will have to wait and see the manner of her return. Would you like to see Alexa Bliss return as the goddess and pair up with Braun Strowman? Leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Sasha Banks reacts to Naomi's Impact Wrestling debut. Mercedes Monet, Fke Sasha Banks has finally reacted to Trinity Fatu, Fia Naomi, making her debut in Impact Wrestling. Banks and Naomi walked out of WWE Raw in May last year due to massive creative differences with the company. Banks now works for NGPW and 
World Wonder Ring stardom in Japan and recently lost the IWGP Women's title to Mayu Iwatani. Since Sasha Banks moved to Japan, fans have been speculating about Naomi's future for a while now. The former WWE superstar made her big debut at tonight's Impact Wrestling tapings in Chicago. Soon after, Banks sent him the following message via her official Twitter handle, at the Trinity underscore Fatu is here to make an impact. She about to knock out all competition and leave him in the rear view. Get it, sis? Fans and their replies to Banks' tweet seem quite excited for Trinity Fatu as well. Naomi has always had nothing but respect and admiration for Banks. Last year, here's what she said about Banks while speaking with Denise Salcedo. Easy, Sasha and I have a history together. When she debuted on the main roster, we were in the faction of Team BAD together. I have always admired her. We have had a great relationship together, both work-wise and personal, so it is just natural, she and I together. I have been with a lot of tag team partners, but she is very unique and special. Now that Naomi is working for Impact Wrestling, it's highly unlikely that fans will get to see her back in a WWE ring anytime soon. Naomi is an incredible talent who will certainly do well in Impact Wrestling in the near future. Why Bianca Belair was drafted to SmackDown in the WWE Draft 2023, Raw Women's Champion Bianca Belair's move to WWE SmackDown as part of WWE Draft 2023 was one of the most shocking moments of the night. The EST was the second pick, overall third in the WWE Draft 2023, for the blue brand. She was drafted during the first round by AAA himself. Bianca Belair appeared via video message to react to her status after the WWE Draft 2023. The reigning Raw Women's Champion said she was super excited to return to the brand where she won her first world title. Bianca referred to herself as the SmackDown Women's Champion during her promo. This has led fans to question what it means for Raw now that they don't have a women's champion. Having said that, let's take a look at three potential consequences for Bianca Belair in the wake of WWE Draft 2023. Number 1. Swap Titles with Rhea Ripley Rhea Ripley defeated Charlotte Flair for the SmackDown Women's Championship at WrestleMania 39. Belair, on the other hand, retained her title against Asuka the very next night. The two champions confronted each other on the Raw after WrestleMania. WWE teased a potential showdown between the two during their confrontation on Raw. After the WWE Draft 2023, the company could have the EST swap titles with Rhea Ripley. For those unaware, Mami will be drafted next week on Raw. Number 2. Drop the Raw Women's Championship to Trish Stratus WWE is reportedly interested in pitting Trish Stratus against Bianca Belair for the title. The quick essential diva turned heel on Becky Lynch a couple of weeks ago on Raw. Trish revealed that she was the one who took out Lita before the Women's Tag Team Championship match. The company could have Bianca Belair defend her Raw Women's Championship against the Hall of Famer. The EST could drop her title to the WWE Hall of Famer, making that her last appearance as champion on the red brand. She could then focus on rebuilding herself on the blue brand. Number 3. Defend her title against new opponents on SmackDown Bianca Belair could take her title to SmackDown and defend it against superstars of the blue brand. WWE could do a storyline where the EST and Rhea Ripley could have a competitive rivalry over who has the most successful title defenses on their respective brands. Belair's move to the blue brand as part of the WWE Draft 2023 has made things interesting, to say the least. More questions will be answered in the days to come. WWE Draft 2023 Why WWE Separated Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns Roman Reigns' fate was finally revealed during the first round of WWE Draft 2023. The Tribal Chief, along with Paul Heyman and Solo Sikoa, was drafted to SmackDown. The trio were also the first picks for the WWE Draft 2023. Cody Rhodes, on the other hand, was moved to Raw as part of the draft. The American Nightmare suffered a shocking defeat at the hands of the Tribal Chief at WWE WrestleMania 39. So why did the company move the two rivals away from each other? WWE is keeping Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes as far away from each other as they possibly can. The rumor mill suggests that the two will collide sometime in the future. The draft provides creative the opportunity to keep the two away from each other until a rematch can be set up in the future. Cody Rhodes is currently involved in a feud with Brock Lesnar. The American Nightmare was brutally attacked by the Beast on Raw after WrestleMania. The two were set to collide at the Backlash Premium Live event in Puerto Rico on May 6. Triple H kicked off the WWE Draft 2023 episode of SmackDown tonight. The game took the podium to announce the picks for the first round. Roman Reigns, Solo Sikoa, and Paul Heyman were drafted to the blue brand. Cody Rhodes was moved to the red brand. Moreover, Raw Women's Champion Bianca Belair was the second pick for the blue brand as part of the draft's first round. The EST appeared via satellite to deliver a message to her fans. She said she was excited to return to SmackDown. Triple H further announced that Becky Lynch will move to Raw permanently as part of WWE Draft 2023. It is worth noting that 50% of the roster will be drafted tonight, while the other half will be drafted next week on Monday Night Raw. Creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then 
you know I'm gon' feed him if you coming for me Hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head I'm seeing Take me 